Greetings students. Today we're going to learn about one of the company of manufacturing of UK Morgan Advanced Materials. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company Morgan Advanced Materials. Let us know this company in a much better way. Morgan Advanced Materials is an advanced materials technology company that provides highly engineered solutions to its chosen markets. Morgan Advanced Materials has a global presence with operations in more than 50 countries. From medical instruments, aerospace, power generation and satellite communications to body armor, trains and fire protection systems, Morgan Advanced Materials products are fundamental components or enabling technologies for many of the modern world's sophisticated products. They are based in the UK and listed on the London Stock Exchange. Founded in 1856, in 2006, we celebrated 150 years of continuous trading and 60 years as a public company. Morgan Advanced Materials PLC is a world leader in advanced materials with full year 2013 revenue of £957.8 million, £1,007.5 million in 2012 and underlying operating profit before specific adjusting items of £108.5 million, £107.7 million in 2012. Morgan Advanced Materials PLC is listed on the London Stock Exchange. Morgan Advanced Materials is a world leader in advanced materials. They produce a wide range of specialist, high specification materials that have extraordinary attributes and properties. Engineered into products, they deliver enhanced performance, often under extreme conditions. The dynamic, highly skilled people are continuously engaged in finding solutions for complex and technologically demanding applications which are used all over the world. In short, they supply innovative, differentiated products made from highly technical advanced materials which enable their customers' products and processes to perform more efficiently, more reliably and for more longer. The company was founded in Battersea in South London by the six Morgan brothers in 1856 as the patent Plumbago Syndicate Limited to make graphite crucibles. The Morgan Crucible Company was adopted as the name in 1881 and it diversified into carbon brushes in 1904. In 1939, the company's subsidiary Morganite Crucible opened its works at Norton in Worcestershire. During the Second World War, this facility employed European voluntary workers who were accommodated at Bowbrook House in nearby Peopleton. In 2010, the site, which had recently been closed, was sold for use as an industrial estate, but a Morgan presence remained in the shape of Molten Metals Limited, a company set up by Mo former Morgan employees Dave Hill and Jim Ritchie to distribute Morganite products and manufacture Morgan furnaces under license. In 1954, the company became one of the first businesses in the UK to computerize its financial records. The company relocated its Battersea manufacturing operations to Morriston in Wales in 1976. It changed its name to Morgan Advanced Materials in February 2013 to reflect the fact that it produces a variety of different products and supplies to many different industries. The strategy is based on building a sustainable business for the long term by continuing to focus on their five strategic priorities and remaining committed to delivering strong returns to their stakeholders. Focus on higher growth, higher bar margin, non-economically cynical markets. Be innovative, differentiated and high value added to our customers. Be number one or number two in our chosen market segments. Have a culture of operational excellence and cost efficiency. Find, keep and develop the right people. Goal. The goal is to continue to be one of the world's very best advanced materials company. Aim. Their aim is to create long-term sustainable shareholder value. Strategy in action. Morgan Advanced Materials identifies major players in sectors driven by mega trends where its materials, science and applications engineering skills can solve technically demanding challenges. The company chooses its markets carefully, focusing on those in which it can achieve leadership quickly and then continue to refine its output to increase the proportion of high margin, technically complex products. The core values. Statement is the guiding principle for the group's global approach to corporate responsibility. This underpins the group's commitment to doing business the right way, limiting the impact of our operations on the environment, protecting and developing our people, and supporting the communities in which we work. By consistently acting with integrity, they earn the trust of our customers, shareholders, colleagues, suppliers, and the communities in which we live and work. 
They use their core value statement alongside the other statements of policy and conduct to help give guidance to their staff. It is intended to have practical value in their day-to-day -day business. The group has an established risk management methodology in place which seeks to identify, quantify, manage and mitigate both existing and emerging risks together with a comprehensive internal control framework and appropriate assurance process. The board considers that this is fundamental to achieving the group aim of creating long-term sustainable shareholder value. Risks are identified top-down by the board and site up though the group's businesses and are quantified by assessing their inherent impact and mitigated probability to ensure that the true potential impact of any risk and its likelihood of materializing is appreciated throughout the group. The day-to-day -day management of risk sits within the group's internal control framework at the level of the group where the impact would materialize with the effectiveness of the controls and mitigating actions being monitored and assessed through a group-wide review process. The board or audit committee annually reviews all TA risks with an inherent potential EBITA impact of above 5 million pounds and the controls and assurance processes that are in place to mitigate those risks. As a result of this review, actions are identified to improve controls and the mitigation of risk. The risk which features here are those that the board feel in 2014 could have the most serious effect on achieving our strategy of building a sustainable business for the long term and delivering strong returns to our stakeholders. So we got to know about the various aspects of Morgan Advanced Materials. We went through the company's history to its present day scenario. Hope the information was useful and have a good day ahead.